the, th the, the fact is that we have not heard of new cases of extraordinary renditions or of, uh, torture in black sites since 2009. But I always say that that's not enough. The uh, uh, obligation of the state is to investigate, prosecute, and punish every act of torture. Uh, and the decision of the Obama administration to, to, to just uh, close any possibility of investigation of what happened in the previous uh, nine years or 10 years, um, eight years, uh, is also a violation of its international obligations. Uh, I think the worst uh, effect of the war on terror uh, is that we have more or less, I mean our public, uh, our uh, public opinion, and not only in the United States but everywhere else, has been more or less persuaded that, you know, torture is something that is inevitable, that it has to happen, that perhaps it even makes us safe, so we won't look at it because it's ugly, but, you know, let's let it happen. And I, I feel that that's different from the 90s and the 80s where the uh, consensus that torture was always evil was much more present. And I think we, the culture, Hollywood, etc., has made us more uh, immune. Uh, and I think that's a very serious problem because if we're going to abolish torture in our lifetime, we need the public behind us. We need public opinion to express clearly to their government this is unacceptable. It's unacceptable not because of these victims whose names we don't know, we can't pronounce, we don't even want to look at their faces. It's unacceptable because of what, what it does to us as citizens, to our institutions, to our uh, democratic uh, uh, way of being. Uh, when, I think we can recover that, that consensus. I'm not pessimistic. Uh, and I think, in fact, in the, in the West, generally, uh, I've been encouraged by civil society reactions to these things, and even some governmental reactions as well, especially here in Europe, there's much more willingness, not enough yet, but more willingness at least to uh, look into uh, extraordinary renditions and secret detentions and reveal what can be revealed about them. Who, will lead, this, who will lead this uh, debate? Well, it's being led by uh, civil society, quite frankly, not by any particular government. But I think uh, the willingness of some governments at least to, uh, to look at uh, what can be uh, discovered. It's also uh, pushed, uh, like Hans said, by the European Court of Human Rights that is uh, uh, entertaining some cases on, on, on this as well. So I think the, um, I, I, I am not confident but hopeful that, uh, that in, a, in, in, in a few more years we'll know a lot more about uh, who was responsible for what and who did what to whom in the extraordinary renditions uh, uh, operations. And that, that knowledge will help us make sure that it doesn't happen again.